Without newspapers, there would have been no revolution because you have, not, it's not just the story, okay, on August the 14th, a group of guys destroyed Oliver's warehouse. It's the arguments as to why we are doing this that then circulates. And the arguments of someone in Pennsylvania attacking the stamp tax, it's then going to be reprinted in Boston or reprinted in New York, or someone in Boston is writing something that then is printed in a like-minded New York newspaper or a Philadelphia newspaper. It creates a sense of a community that is a community of readers or a community of activists throughout these American colonies that had no direct connection with one another. According to British policy, you in New York, your connection is with the empire and not with Connecticut or New Jersey. Their connection is with the empire. But this does create a network of communication throughout these American colonies and then will make it possible for them to have a revolution, will make it possible for them to work together, something that the um, British policymakers thought would never happen.